I love flowers. I'd love to have the whole place swimming in roses. God of heaven, there's nothing like nature. The wild mountains, then the sea and the waves are rushing, then the beautiful country with the fields of oats and wheat and all kinds of things, and all the fine cattle going about. That would do your heart good to see rivers and lakes and flowers, all sorts of shapes and smells and colors springing up, even out of the ditches, primroses and violets. Nature it is. As for them saying there's no God, I wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all they're learning. Why don't they go and create something, I often asked him, atheists or whatever they call themselves. Go and wash the cobbles off themselves first, and then they go howling for the priest, and they die in. And why? Why? Because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience. Ah, yes, I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody that made it all? Who? Ah that they don't know, neither do I. So there you are. They might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you today, he said. <laughs> the day where a lion among the rhododendrons on Hoth Head in the gray tweed suit and his straw hat. The day I got him to propose to me, yes. First, I gave him a bit of the seed cake out of my mouth, and it was leap year like now. Yes, 16 years ago. My God, after that long kiss, I near lost my breath. Yes, he said I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, so we are flowers, all a woman's body. Yes, that was the one true thing he said in his life. And the sun shines for you today. <laughs> yes, that's why I liked him. Because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is. And I knew I could always get around him. And I gave him all the pleasure I could, leading him on until he asked me to say yes. And I wouldn't answer first. Only looked out over the sea and the sky. I was thinking of so many things he didn't know of. Mulvey, and Mr. Stanhop, and Hester, and Father, and the old Captain Groves, and the sailors playing, all birds fly, and I say stoop, and washing up the dishes, and they called it on the pier. And the sentry, in front of the governor's house, with the thing round his white helmet, poor devil, half roasted. And the Spanish girls laughing in their shawls and their and their tall combs, and the auctions in the mornings, the Greeks and the Jews and the Arabs, and the devil knows who else from all ends of Europe and Duke Street, and the foul market all clucking outside of Larrabee Sharon's, and the poor donkeys slipping half asleep, and the vague fellows and the cloaks asleep in the shade on the steps, and the big wheels of the carts of the bulls. And the old castle, thousands of years old, yes. And those handsome moors, all in white and turbans like kings, asking you to sit down in their little bit of a shop. <laughs> and Rhonda with the old windows of the posadas, glancing eyes, a lattice hid for her lover to kiss the iron. And the wine shops, half open at night, and the castanets, and the night we missed the boat at Algeciras. The watchman going around serene with his lamp. And oh, that awful deep down torrent. Oh, and the sea. The sea crimson sometimes like fire. And the glorious sunsets and the fig trees in the Alameda Gardens, yes. And all the queer little streets and the pink and the blue and the yellow houses. And the rose gardens, and the jasmine, and the geraniums, and the cactuses, and Gibraltar, as a girl where I was a flower of the mountain, yes, 
when I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girls used? Or shall I wear red? Yes. And how he kissed me under that Moorish wall. And I thought, well, as well him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask me again, yes. And then he asked me, would I? Yes, to say yes, my mountain flower. And first I put my arms around him, yes, and drew him down so he could fill my breast all perfume, yes. And his heart was going like mad, and yes, I said, yes, I will, yes.